The next question is using Gram Schmidt's uh, orthogonalization procedure. Find a set of orthonormal basis functions to represent the three signals S1 of t, S2 of t, and S3 of t as shown in the figure. Also express these signals in terms of the set of basis functions. So it is asked for eight marks from uh, December, January 2019. Okay. So what is your S1 of t, your amplitude 2 and your time period is 0 to 1. S2 of t it is minus 4 and your time period is 0 to 2 and S3 of t your uh, amplitude is 3 and your time period is 3 okay. So what are the two tasks we have to do first task is you have to find the number of orthonormal basis function. So as I have uh, mentioned in the previous problem so how can you find out the number of orthonormal basis function. So the number of orthonormal basis function is equal to number of linearly independent message signal. So here you have linearly independent message signal is equal to 3. So your orthonormal basis function will be equal to 5, 1, 5, 2 and 5, 3. Okay. Now uh, you have to second task is you have to express S1 of t, S2 of t, S3 of t in terms of your basis function. So first let us uh, find out phi 1 of t, phi 2 of t and phi 3 of t. So what is your phi 1 of t? You know your direct equation phi 1 of t is equal to S1 of t divided by root E1. So what will be your E1 energy of the signal S1 of t 0 to t, S1 square of t into dt which is equal to 0 to t. You have to see the limit right S1 of t. So here the limit is 0 to 1. So you can write it directly 0 to 1 okay. 2 square s1 of t amplitude is 2 so 2 square into dt so 4 into you will be having apply the integration so limit is uh, 1 0 right so 4 into 1 minus 0 is equal to 4 so you are getting e1 is equal to 4 joules what will be your uh, phi 1 phi 1 will be equal to s1 of t divided by root of 4 which is equal to 1 by 2 into s1 of t so you will be getting phi 1 of t is equal to 1 by 2 into s1 of t okay so uh, uh, if I can draw phi 1 of t, so this is your S1 of t, it is S1 of t divided by 2, right? So S1 of t, the same signal I have drawn it again. So what will be your half into S1 of t, which is nothing but your phi 1 of t. So here your amplitude will become 2 into 1 by 2, right? So 2, 2 will get cancelled. So your amplitude will become 1, that is nothing but your phi 1 of t. Time period is 1 with amplitude 1, unit energy. So I can write that phi 1 of t is equal to 1 for your time period 0 to less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1 and 0 otherwise. So you have now found out the value for phi 1. Now if you want to find out the value for phi 2 what you have to do you have to go for your intermediate signal right. So what was your intermediate signal g i of t is equal to s i of t minus summation j is equal to 1 to i minus 1 s i j into phi j of t. So now your condition is i is equal to 2. When i is equal to 2 what will be your g2 of t will be equal to s2 of t minus summation j is equal to 1 to i is 2 right 2 minus 1 is 1 so j is equal to 1 to 1 s2 j into phi j of t so here j value is equal to 1 so you can again simplify it into g2 of t is equal to s2 of t minus instead of j you are substituting it as 1 s2 1 into phi 1 of t therefore now you have to find out the coefficient s2 of s21 right so what will be your s21 sij formula which is equal to 0 to t s2 of t into phi 1 of t into dt so now you can uh, you have to find out the limit so i i am drawing it once again what is your s2 of t minus 4 and with uh, time period 2 and phi 1 of t 1 1 right so what is your common area here 0 to 1 right here also it is 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 is your common area so the limit will be 0 to 1 what is your s2 of t minus 4 into phi 1 of t is 1 into dt so which is equal to minus 4 into apply the limit 1 minus 0 so s21 will be equal to what will be the value s21 is equal to minus 4 therefore what will be your g2 of t g2 of t will be equal to s2 of t minus s21 right so s21 is minus 4 minus into minus you will be getting it plus plus 4 phi 1 of t now s2 of t plus 4 phi 1 of t so now you are going to draw separately s2 of t and 4 into phi 1 of t and you are going to add both you will be getting g2 of t so i have drawn it again s2 of t similarly what will be 4 into phi 1 of t phi 1 of t amplitude was 1 right 1 into 4 now your amplitude will become 4 now what is g2 of t your s2 of t plus so first figure plus your second figure so what will be your 
first figure for 0 to 2 here it is 0 to 1 0 to 1 what is your value amplitude is 4 right so s2 of t your amplitude is minus 4 minus 4 plus 4 it will become 0 now for 1 to 2 here it is for 1 to 2 what will be your value 1 to 2 here 5 1 of t is 0 but your s2 of t is minus 4 so minus 4 uh, minus 0 you will be getting minus 4 sorry minus 4 plus 0 you will be getting minus 4 so 1 to 2 only you will be getting the signal so this is going to be your g2 of t now what will be your second basis function phi 2 of t is equal to g2 of t divided by energy of that signal now you are going to find out the energy of the signal so what will be your energy of the signal 0 to t g2 square of t into dt what is your g2 uh, amplitude amplitude is equal to minus 4 now you have to uh, uh, see the limit right limit is 1 to 2 so 1 to 2 minus 4 the whole square into dt so minus 4 the whole square into apply the limit 2 minus 1 4 square so 16 so you will be getting eg2 is equal to 16 joules now can you find out the value for phi, phi 2 of t phi 2 of t substitute the value g2 of t divided by root 16 so what will be your value root 16 is nothing but 4 right so 1 by 4 into g2 of t so now you are going to draw your g2 of t uh, again and you are going to draw your phi 2 of t sorry yeah phi 2 of t phi 2 of t is nothing but g2 of t divided by 4 so what is your g2 of t i have just redrawn it again here okay now what will be your phi 2 of t phi 2 of t will be equal to this uh, g2 of t divided by 4 so you will be getting into 1 by 4 so 4 4 will get cancelled you will be getting the uh, value as amplitude as minus 1 so i can write that phi 2 of t is equal to minus 1 for 1 less than or equal to t for the time duration 1 to 2 and 0 otherwise okay now your what is your next task is to find out your third basis function so now you are going to substitute the value for i is equal to 3 in your intermediate signal so you what will you get g3 of t is equal to s3 of t minus j is equal to 1 to i minus 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 s 3 j into phi j of t now you will be having two values j is equal to 1 and 2 so you can again write it as g3 of t is equal to s3 of t minus s3 1 into phi 1 of t minus s3 2 into phi 2 of t so now you have to find two coefficients right one is s3 1 and the other one is s3 2 so what will be your s3 1 s3 1 will be equal to 0 to t s3 of t into phi 1 of t into dt similarly what will be your s3 of t sorry s3 2 s3 2 will be equal to 0 to t s3 of t into phi 2 of t right into dt so now what will be your s3 1 of t now you have to find out your limit right 0 to t now this limit you have to calculate so you have to draw again s3 of t and phi 1 of t and you have to find out what is your common area so see 0 to 3 here it is 0 to 1 so your 0 to 1 is your common so your limit will be 0 to 1 s3 of t amplitude is 3 into phi 1 of t it is 1 into dt so apply the limit you will be getting s3 1 is equal to 3 now similarly you are going to find out calculate s3 2 so s3 of t phi 2 of t is equal to minus 1 right so here what is your common area it is 1 to 2 right so 1 to 2 here it is 0 to 3 so both common area is 1 to 2 so 1 to 2 3 into amplitude 3 into phi 2 is minus 1 so you will be getting s3 2 is equal to minus 3 okay now you have got the two coefficients now can you substitute it here g3 of t is equal to s3 of t minus s3 1 into phi 1 of t substitute the value for s3 1 and s3 2 what you will be getting s3 of t minus s3 1 is 3 3 phi 1 of t plus 3 phi 2 of t therefore g3 of t is equal to i can take this 3 as common s3 of t so this will be your g3 of t now diagrammatically if you have to represent you have to a draw s3 of t then you have to draw 3 into phi 2 of t minus phi 1 of t right so uh, here s3 of t this is your s3 of t amplitude 3 and time duration 3 now what will be your phi 2 of t minus phi 1 of t what was your phi 1 of t with amplitude um, 1 here right 1 and your time duration is 1 now phi 2 is what was your phi 2 1 to 2 minus 1 right what will be your phi 2 of t minus phi 1 of t for 0 to 1 here it is 0 here it is 1 so 0 minus 1 it will be minus 1 so 0 to 1 it will be equal to minus 1 now 1 to 2 what is the value for phi 2 it is equal to minus 1 here it is equal to what is the value 
1 to 2 it is 0 so minus 1 minus 0 it is again minus 1 so for what will happen for 0 to 2 time duration totally you will be getting the value it is minus 1 now what will be 3 into 5 2 of t into 5 1 of t multiply it by 3 here so you will be getting minus 1 into 3 it will be minus 3 so your amplitude is equal to minus 3 now can you draw g3 of t s3 of t your third figure plus your second figure so what will be your um, value 0 to 3 you have the amplitude as 3 here 0 to 2 you have the amplitude as minus 3 so for 0 to 2 here it is minus 3 right here it is 3 so what is the value 3 plus minus 3 so 3 minus 3 it is 0 so you will be getting only the value from 2 to 3 2 to 3 here it is 3 so you are getting 2 to 3 the amplitude is 3 right now can you calculate e g3 of t in order to find out phi 3 of t 0 to t g3 t square uh, into dt so what will be your limit 2 to 3 right 2 to 3 3 square into dt apply the limit you will be getting e g3 e g3 of t is equal to 9 joules can you calculate phi 3 of t phi 3 of t is equal to g3 of t divided by energy of that signal phi 3 of t is equal to g3 of t divided by root 9 which is equal to 3 so phi 3 of t is equal to 1 by 3 into g3 of t diagrammatically can you represent g3 of t i have redrawn it again phi 3 of t what will be the value by 3 right so here it will be 1 by 3 into g3 of t so into 1 by 3 3 3 will get cancelled your amplitude will become 1 again it will be unit energy so phi 3 of t i can write it as 1 for the time duration 2 to 3 and 0 otherwise so now you have to see whether it's orthogonal to each other phi 1 of t phi 2 of t phi 3 of t right so here it is 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 there is no common area so no overlapping so all the three basis function are orthogonal to each other and they have unit energy that is orthonormal okay so this is the first point what i have told number of basis function is equal to number of independent signal so which is equal to 3 now your second task is second option was to express this in terms of your basis function right so how will you represent s1 of t in terms of your basis function this was your s1 of t so you know that phi 1 of t is equal to s1 of t divided by 2 just cross multiply this so s1 of t is equal to 2 into phi 1 of t now what is your how will you express s2 of t you know that phi 2 of t is equal to 1 by 4 into g2 of t now substitute the value for g2 of t and multiply it here so what is your g2 of t s2 of t plus 4 into phi 1 of t multiply cross multiply so from this can you calculate the value for s2 of t s2 of t is equal to 4 into phi 2 of t minus 4 into phi 1 of t okay similarly you have to write down what is your s3 of t s3 of t what is the value phi 3 of t is equal to 1 by 3 into g3 of t cross multiply it here substitute the value for g3 of t that is what done here g3 of t is equal to s3 of t plus 3 into phi 2 of t minus phi 1 of t so what will be your s3 of t s3 of t will be equal to 3 into phi 3 of t minus 3 into phi 2 of t minus phi 1 of t so here you have 3 here you have 3 you can take it or you can cross multiply it inside s3 of t is equal to 3 phi 1 minus into minus plus right 3 phi 1 minus 3 phi 2 plus 3 phi 3 so the